Boomhauer69 here. Thought I'd do a little blog video about the Grand River in my area. For those of you who don't know, the Grand River is a river in, in my little town. If you go to Google Maps and you go to go to the um, state of Michigan and you type in Grand River, you'll get popped up pictures and and it'll show you the location of the Grand River. And every year around this time in spring and stuff, when we get our final thaw and, and or whenever we get a whole bunch of rain, the river likes to flood. So I thought I would show y'all who who are not from around here the how the river floods and stuff and the flooding of the river. Now what I'm going to show you this is for the locals. This is nothing new or or nothing really exciting like. Oh, I think it was back in 2013, we did have a really good flood that was basically worth talking about and stuff. But this is basically what I'm going to show you is my own compared to other years where it was really bad. Like 2013, I think it was, is when the Grand River flooded really, really bad and, and was actually news, newsworthy, I should say. But this is nothing new to the locals, but for those of you who simply don't live in Michigan or around here and you're wondering and you know about the Grand River and you're run and you're wondering what it looks like when it's flooded this is what it looks like now this right here is simply a nature trail that I done videos about and I'll put links in the description for those videos so you can see what these nature trails look like but currently right now it's all flooded out because the river is high right now and I think in a few days it's gonna crest and the water will go down and everything will go back to normal but for the locals this is nothing fancy nothing new it's simply it, it happens and nobody right now what's happening is nothing fancy anyways but yeah uh, this little trail right here that's all flooded out due to the river actually has a um if you would walk this way actually has was able to walk this way anyways you would be able to go to a um little fishing pier dock that i fished i even did videos about this little section of nature trail and stuff but currently right now it's flooded out and I'll take you guys to the main bridge in town that goes over the Grand River and show you how how really bad high flooded it is there and stuff. Right now, I'm on the main bridge in town here. Um, this this is the main bridge that goes over the Grand River. And here's the river. In all, in, in all of its glory. Oh, there's a big old log right there. But yeah. There's what it looks like. There's the actual... Um, little nature trail that you used to be able to walk and stuff but yeah oh after a while this river again will crest and go down this is really around these parts again nothing really newsworthy or or anything like super wow i'm just again doing this video for people who simply don't live around this area and don't know much about the grand river and they might you know want to visit this area sometime you know visit the area of Michigan I'm in and stuff and and they might find this kind of entertaining or some of y'all but to all the locals this is nothing new and nothing great you know if you've been in this area as long as I have you know this river does this every year but, yeah. behind me is the 
actual boat launch area where people drop their boats off in the river and stuff and this is how flooded it is this right here is where you would normally be able to go further down and drop your boat off in the water where you would launch your boats and stuff and about where my fingers pointing somewhere in there there's actually a wooden pier dock where you can actually stand and go fishing that's currently underwater again for us locals this is nothing new and it's basically old news and nothing really worth news worthy to talk about but for you people who live out of state and other countries and stuff that are not from around here and you stumble upon this video this will be a uh, quite an interesting video for y'all that are not from around here but yeah again somewhere over there there's actually a fishing pier dot that's currently underwater but if you go back and check some of my videos i've done videos about this boat launch area so if you go in my playlist and stuff and in my blog playlist you'll find videos about this boat launch area and what it looks like when it's not flooded out and stuff but yeah there's a park bench over there almost in the water <laughs> I'm over here on the side of the train depot I've, I've done videos about this train depot right here on my YouTube channel as well so check those out um, this is the um, east side of the river now this is actually I was just over there is where the um, boat launches and then on this side right here is the train, I call it the train depot side. There's the other part of the little nature trail that I showed earlier that's all flooded out. And there's the little walkway. And here's another, another view of the flooded river on this side here and how bad it is. Because right here is actually underwater a little nature trail that you when it's not flooded out you can walk and walk to the other side to the boat launch and all that stuff that's flooded now but, yeah. now this little bridge right here i'm on is actually on the um fred meyer rail trail i've done videos about this nature trail on the side of the nature trail but i wanted to show you this little crick here and that's how bad this little crick here has flooded due to the river and stuff but show you the other side But right underneath this bridge is really just a small funny little creek and stuff and because of the water it simply flooded pretty good. And I know this video will also be good for the people who used to live around here and moved away and and we'll probably bring back just some memories, you know. Oh yeah. Thought this would be a good place to end the video. Don't forget to like, share, comment below, and subscribe to Boomhauer 69 channel because you're gonna that will help me, Boomhauer 69, and continuing continuing to make videos on youtube and stuff so don't forget to do all that stuff 
hope you enjoyed this video I had fun making it and stuff and hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something and if you're new to the area and you're wondering about how the river floods well this is how it usually gets it's really for locals it's nothing new or fancy or anything but for you people that never been here or moved away or whatever the case may be this might be an interesting video or you're somebody that might be interested in simply watching videos about flooded rivers and stuff but there you go another video for you all hope you all have a good day and thank you for watching boomhauer 69's video